Okay. All right. For this week's video, I'm going to do over the Alliance Showdown. It happens semi-regularly. It's a week-long event. It's a royal pain in the butt. However, it can also be well worth the time invested. Even if you don't spend a whole lot of money on it or anything, you can still get some really nice rewards. So I'm going to go over the easiest way to build points. And yeah, we'll go from there. So once you're under your event center, you go to Alliance Showdown. As you can see right now, I've already claimed the mystery shop one. I really like the mystery shops because a lot of times all it's going to cost you is resources and maybe a few diamonds so it's one of the easier ones to do once you have it you come out here you go into your mystery shop and you'll get all of these these four different ones they cost resources when you buy the first round most of the time one of them will pop up costing money another one will pop up costing diamonds I don't bother with the money one because it's not really all that worth it. I will usually go ahead and use the diamond ones. That gets me five of these per time frame. And it refreshes, I think it's every three or four hours. So super easy to get points, super easy to complete. The next easiest ones to complete, and we don't have any up right now, are the transport ones. Most of the time with the transport ones, you can get up to like 100 points for it and it's transporting a couple million resources. If you don't have the resources, most of the time if you're in a decent guild, you can ask in the alliance, the, the guild, the alliance, for somebody to send you the resources and then you'll send them back to them. That way you get points, they get to basically keep their resources, and it only costs you a little bit. As you can see, here's another one of the Alliance Shop ones. This one's an 8, and I think the one I have right now is a 12, yeah. So I'll actually get a little bit more points than this one, but it's super easy to do. Almost no risk of failure, unless you don't get on in time to, to, to do the updates. Harvest ones are some of the hardest ones to complete. Unless you are picking a harvest one that is of the Alliance Resource Depot or the Alliance Resource Spot. Pretty much any of the rest of the harvest ones are extremely difficult to complete. If you're a spender doing the armor increase ones or the soldier increase ones are pretty easy for those that spend. If you're not a big spender but you've saved up a lot of training speed ups, the soldier ones are super easy to do at that point and they usually give you more points than most of the rest of them the hero ones the hero frag ones are pretty much 100 percent dependent on two things are you going to spend or do you have a ton of cards built up in your bags and card by cards your choice cards your three star four star and five star choice cards if you have a ton of those built up, then the hero frag ones aren't that hard to do. If you want to spend money in the shop and buy hero frags, it's not that hard to do. Otherwise, it's impossible to complete. So that's just my recommendations. In rank, I prefer the shop one like what I'm doing right now. Those are super easy to complete. They only cost some resources. After that, I would definitely say the transport ones, because the transport ones you can ask for help in your alliance. And most of the time, if you're in a decent alliance, somebody will send you the resources, or you'll get two or three other people will send you the resources to send to someone else. And so they're fairly easy to complete. Troop Might Up, which was the, the soldier training one I was talking about, if you've got the speed ups, it's fairly easy to do, especially once you're into tier eight, tier nine, and tier 10 and above. It's real easy to do, but you gotta have the speed ups or you gotta be willing to spend money to, to do the speed ups. The rewards for doing this can be huge. 
you get all the way down through here and if you're in a decent alliance y'all will end up somewhere up in here and we'll start up here and we'll, we'll do a quick thing over the, the rewards the speed ups is kind of indifferent you know i usually will pick for each one that we get i'll pick one here then that the next one then that the third one these two here are of vital importance especially if you're not a huge spender I usually alternate. I'll pick this one time and that the next. For instance, they're here, so I'd pick the, the glory ones here. And then here I'll pick the refiners. And then the next one I'll pick the glories, and the next one I'll pick the refiners. On these choices, it's really dependent on where you're at with your Nova. If your Nova is low level, you sh probably should choose this one to get it leveled up. Otherwise, I would say choose this one because your, your mill points are the hardest ones to get and they're also the ones that you will utilize the most because they boost your uh, combat abilities. After that on here, I usually go with either the gas or steel because food and wood are fairly easy to come by. Out of these choices, I always go with the one star because these are fairly easy to come by. This is not. Back into the speed ups. Back into those two, which I've already covered. And this kind of a choice, I would choose, if you're low, low level on your Nova, I would choose this one. Otherwise, I would choose this one because these are very important. And they get to the point where it takes a ton of them. Once again, here in this three choice, I would choose the steel. Here, I always go with the diamonds because I can bank them up and use them for a lot of different things. Speed ups, already went over. Pretty much at this point, we've already covered everything once already. But as you can see, the higher up you go, the more of them you get. Back into the diamonds, 20,000 diamonds. I used to choose these, and then I realized these, I can get out of one of the other shops for just simple points. So I started going just straight diamonds. And as you can see, as you go up, the value you get goes up. And you get to choose one out of each one of these tiers based on how many points that you've accumulated. That really will, will set your tier as far as how many you get. With my alliance and everything, we usually get all the way up here into the 26, 27 range. And I personally will be able to get all the way up to like the 22, 23 if I get antsy towards the end and I want to spend some money or diamonds, I can go all the way up to the 25, 26 level. Most of the time I just don't waste, waste my diamonds on it. But that is the Alliance Showdown. That is the breakdown of my recommendations of the easiest way to do it. Since one of these popped up, I will do a short excerpt on these. I do not ever recommend doing a question mark because you have no idea what quest it's going to give you. It could be something that you're going to have to spend a lot of money to do, a lot of diamonds to do. It could be a transport 20 million resource, or it could be a transport 200,000 resource. You have no idea. I have claimed them before, and I would say out of the 10 that I have claimed, nine caused me to spend a lot of diamonds or money to complete. And I do not like doing that. I am not a spender when it comes to this game. So I would definitely say stick to the mystery shop ones, the transports, and then the troop speed ups and stuff like that, depending on what all you have banked. Once again, I hope you find it in this informational and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to message me. I hope you have a good day.